Welcome back everyone to another lecture in our maintenance and reliability course. In this lecture, we will have a quick introduction about asset management. Before we start learning what do we mean by asset management, we need to understand first what do we mean by an asset. As per ISO 55000 definition, an asset is an item, thing, or entity that has a potential or actual value to an organization which means that assets could be tangible items such as facilities, buildings, equipment, infrastructure, or it could be even intangible items such as organization's reputation or procedures. So, any asset goes through a certain life cycle inside any organization. This life cycle could be divided into two main parts, which are called CAPEX and OPEX. CAPEX is defined as the capital expenditures which the company invests in a form of one-time payment. So it is the capital cost of the equipment, facilities, buildings, and all of the similar assets. While OPEX is defined as the operational expenditures, which is ongoing investment to keep the organization in operation, such as maintenance cost, operational cost, salaries, and rentals, and any similar ongoing costs. So now that we understand the difference between CAPEX and OPEX, we can proceed and understand the asset life cycle. The asset life cycle starts with planning, where we start defining our requirements and the design specification for that asset, followed by acquiring, where we start carrying out the purchasing or manufacturing process for this asset, and those two phases are considered to be under the CAPEX costs, because they are initial one-time investment in the life of this asset. Then the asset goes through operation phase, followed by maintenance phase, and finally disposing the asset, where those three phases are considered to be the OPEX costs. Here we can see the distribution of the full asset costs through its lifetime. We can see that we have here the CAPEX costs, including the design, research, acquisition, and the construction of the asset. Then we have the OPEX costs, which include the operation plus planned maintenance costs, and also we have risk costs, which include the corrective maintenance, which is due to failures, in addition to the impact on productivity and environment, and we can see that this costs increases over time. And finally, we have the disposal costs. From this curve, we can see the importance of investing in the design stage of any asset, and how much it affects the overall cost of the asset. Because OPEX costs are actually way higher than CAPEX costs, actually the average percentage between both would be that 70% of the costs of the asset is under the OPEX costs, while the CAPEX costs are only 30% of the total cost. Here we can see an example of a cost report for two different assets over the end of their life cycle. Asset number one, had initial cost of $35,000. The cost of maintenance of this asset was $15,000, and its operation cost was $10,000 during its lifetime. So, a total cost of $60,000. While asset number two had initial cost of $20,000, and the cost of maintenance of that asset was $35,000, and the operation cost of this asset was $25,000. So, it has a total cost of $80,000. Here we can see that even though asset number one had a higher initial cost, which was the capex cost, but the overall cost of that asset at the end of the life cycle was lower than asset number two. And this shows the importance of investing in proper engineering and defining the required specification for an asset during the capex stage. So now that we understand what do we mean by an asset, we can start learning about asset management. And the asset management is the coordinated activities of any organization to realize a value to this organization. And we have defined assets earlier by any item or thing that has a potential value to an organization. So this means that asset management is all of the efforts exerted by an organization to properly manage their assets to obtain the best possible value out of them. 
So asset management is not just a single activity or process that is carried out, but it is a complete strategic enterprise-wide system and activities. So asset management can't be summarized into just maintenance work, but asset management include activities in many other disciplines, such as purchasing, financing, design engineering, project engineering, and many others. All of those activities have to be integrated together to produce what we call the asset management. So why do we need asset management? In any enterprise, we have the owner and the business development group, and those represent and create the enterprise business strategy. At the same time, we have the operation manager and the maintenance manager, and those decide the operation and maintenance requirements for that enterprise. Asset management is created to fill the gap between the business strategy and the operation and maintenance requirement. And this is by ensuring that business vision of the enterprise is achieved as much as possible without compromising the operation and the maintenance requirements. Here we can see the model of asset management as per IAM, which is the Institute of Asset Management. And in this model, we can see at the top that we must have an organizational strategic plan. Based on this organizational strategic plan, we need to have a strategy and a plan to achieve. And this strategy and plan could be obtained from the asset management decision making, which is based on the information received from the assets we have, such as sensors and the failure history and so on. So those information help me to make decisions regarding the asset management, which leads to a strategy and a plan. And based on this plan, as well as the asset information I have, I can start managing the asset life cycle, which includes acquiring the asset, operating it, maintaining it, till finally disposing it. All of this has to be taken into consideration, all of the identified risks, and of course, the human factor, which is related to the people inside this organization. This is just a summary of the asset management model, and of course, we are going to talk about it in way more details in the next chapters. So this was it for our lecture today about introduction of asset management. And starting from our next lecture, we will start in the second chapter, which is about maintenance strategies. So see you in our next lecture. Thank you.